then in that case you will get outputs which are not correct intermittently that much is clear we just looked at the example of a nand gate we don't even go into a complex gate like an adder or something like that even in a simple nand gate do you realize that if one input comes much later than the other there will be a differential uh, there will be a spurious output there for some time i am why i am calling that spurious because whatever it will come i will get the according to functionality i mean yeah because i have now and now i will say that i wanted the addition of two words to be done okay yes sir so anything that is intermediate is spurious for me na what is it that i want i want there is one correct output and then there is directly a next correct output any intermediate states are spurious states for me okay right okay yes okay that is what i mean by spurious i am only concerned with some kind of outputs not all yes yeah so okay and so one that more thing sir so, yes so one so one thing also said the concept of token exactly what exactly you were trying to say is that the, is it the value that is the hold been held or the the data that we might be coming in going out what no, exactly? token could be okay token could be something which is like uh, when the state of the signal is zero only then i will proceed forward it is like a you have seen a relay race yes, sir in which what happens the first 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 runner carries a baton with him and uh, puts it on to the uh, gives it on to the second runner after some time yes yes sir hai na so this uh, this is like a token that only after my previous set of results are there only then i will start my second operation so in asynchronous circuit you call it as tokens in uh, synchronous circuit you call of it as state where flip flop the where the clock would come and say okay now next now, now let's move to the next stage in asynchronous circuits you call it as token Okay. okay. So, so some somehow it's linked to the inputs and output. Like when I achieve this kind of output, I can move to the next set of inputs, something like that. Yes. So there is one. Uh, okay. Now let us look at it like this. There could be a special output that your circuit would give, which says that okay, now I am ready for the next input. Okay. Hmm. When all the calculations have done, have been completed, it says now I'm ready for the next input. Now, once this ready input, ready signal count goes high, then you will give the next set of input. So this ready signal is a token now. Okay. 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 So like it's like the concept of moving from one computation to the next, like that kind of. Okay. Yeah. It is managing like that. that. Okay. Yes. So it is about sequencing. that was what you were talking about in the last slide also yes you were talking about sequencing where we said that uh, in a in a optical fiber that in an optical fiber we said that things would move in a in a wave format hai na whereas yes. uh, it may not happen so in the uh, it may not happen so in the hardware that we are talking about Hmm, yes sir ha na so when that is what we are talking about then we say that uh, this is about uh, sequencing delays does this help so sir we are moving towards sequencing because we want to avoid those kind of spurious kind of that yes transitions yes okay sir theek hai Uh, yes abhi you know we can relate token to something like a acknowledgement signal gagandi uh, yes sir sir uh, what i know about the five lines so what uh, according to what we have read also uh, basically to make the overall circuit faster what we do is to uh, separate two blocks of circuit and put flip flops in between so that the output of previous one is not able to uh, interact with the input of the next stage until i send the clock signal 
so sir even even if the delays of all the transitions of input for both the circuit the stage 1 and stage 2 are are similar or or let's say are constant even then to make the circuit faster i will like to put flip flops or not even then i would want to do that yes even then i would want to do that yes so sir so uh, how are we saying that okay constant uh, if it is constant and i can rem- uh, uh, remove the flip flops uh if it is constant i will remove the flip flops because even after removing the flip flops i will get the correct functionality the speed may be slower Okay, so for speed, I will still need to put them and yes. functionality. Yes. You will still, so then you are using flip flops only for speed purposes. Otherwise, you are using pipelining also for sequencing purposes. Okay. Yes. Hmm, is that clear? Yes, sir. So what we are saying is that there are two purposes of a uh, of using these sequencing circuits. First is to ensure sequencing. Second is to improve overall system throughput. System throughput need would still remain, but in wave pipelining, you can say that okay, I do not need to, uh, I do not need to give this uh, uh, keep these flip flops or sequencing elements in between because I am always safe. Sir, uh, yes, Raghav. so i am mean i am improving the speed of the circuit because i am able to achieve kind of parallelism kind of thing that is why i am able to yes. achieve it yes right like, okay sir yes so are all of you doing the computer architecture course anyone who is not doing the ca course okay at least those who are present in the class okay uh, gagandeep is not some people are not doing ca course so those of you who are doing ca course you would see that uh, cma this concept is discussed in in much detail why pipelining is used why it is important and so on hmm? so pipelining is used for two purposes as we are discussing over here first is to ensure sequencing that the earlier inputs don't mix with the uh, with the present set of inputs or vice versa and uh, we are also saying that uh, sequential elements or pipelining is used to improve overall throughput of the system ठीक है नाउ व्हेन वी यूज दी सीक्वेंसिंग एलिमेंट्स इन आवर पाथ व्हाट डू वी डू वी इनेविटेबली ऐड फ्लिप फ्लॉप्स एंड लैचेस एंड दे विल इनेविटेबली लीड टू एडिशनल डिलेस इवन ऑन द स्लोअर पाथ सी देयर वाज अ स्लो पाथ यू वांटेड टू स्लो डाउन ओनली द फास्ट पाथ बट यू डू नॉट नो व्हिच पाथ इज स्लो व्हिच पाथ इज फास्ट व्हेन यू आर डूइंग अ सिस्टम सिंथेसिस इन दैट केस व्हाट हैपेंस in that case finally we say that uh, we simply insert a, a flop on all the paths and even the slow paths will see some delay this additional delay that is that this flip flop would take or this latch would take is called as clocking overhead or sequencing overhead so actually it is called as sequencing overhead but a few people erroneously call it as clocking overhead clocking overhead is not the correct term because as i just mentioned a little while back this kind of overhead even occurs in the token system if you have tokens so even in token systems there is going to be some overhead so it is better to call it as sequencing overhead and not clocking overhead is that okay any questions still here so suppose we are putting uh, one flip flop in a path uh, so the clocking overhead will be one clock period so i just now said faisal we will not use the term clocking overhead we will use the term sequencing overhead okay sequencing overhead would be one clock period like a clock aa jayega tab flip flop de dega output no the sequencing overhead will be the de- the delay of the flop that is ck to q delay of the flop ck to q okay Okay. okay because that is the additional delay that your logic now has to travel na yes sir yes sir yes sir understood okay okay so that becomes the delay that is the sequencing overhead 
We will talk about sequencing overhead in much detail after we introduce these sequencing elements to you. We'll talk about the sequencing overhead in much detail in a little while. Yes, Tarun. So you were saying that typically we don't know the slower and faster path uh, when we synthesize a circuit, but again, that's if I think at system level we typically do know, right? That yeah, yeah. this path will take so, more time. At the time of synthesis, we would know, but at the time of writing an RTL, we may not know. So you would put the flop everywhere, and then you synthesize. So what I meant was that before synthesis, we do not, we may not really know which circuits, which paths are fast, which paths are slow. Because during synthesis also, some paths will be uh, converted to faster paths by using faster cells and slower cells and all that. Right? So we, in RTL itself, we'll put the flops at all the places. Okay? Yes, okay. Okay. So 